Man, my cell battery's about to die. I gotta go charge it. Batteries don't lose charge. Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. I've got a pet peeve. A lot of language we use to describe electronics is terrible. Not only is it just plain wrong, it also makes it more difficult for people to learn the truth. You've got this preconceived notion, and it needs a fixin'. So if it doesn't lose charge, what does it lose? Energy. Energy is the ability or capacity to do work. Basically, it measures a thing's ability to do stuff. The Earth gives this balloon the ability to fall. Sunlight gives this flower the ability to grow. And my breakfast gave me the ability to do this. Energy is about doing stuff. And that's exactly what you want your phone to do. Stuff. Wait, so then what's charge? Charges are those things in your phone that do stuff. Did you know that if you push your phone in the right places, a pizza will arrive at your house? We live in an amazing time. Anyway, charges are what make up atoms, so everything has charges in it. You, me, this phone, even this battery. Let's take a closer look at this thing. Here's a typical alkaline battery with a positive and negative end. Basically, triple A's, double A's, C's, D's, etc. Inside, there are two metals. Zinc connected to the negative end and manganese dioxide connected to the positive end. They're separated by a thin insulator made of potassium hydroxide and water, which prevents any chemical reactions from happening on their own. I mean, we don't want it dying on us just sitting in a bin. Even though a battery like this has a voltage labeled on it, it doesn't actually have that until you bring extra electrons to the party. Where do we get those extra Extra electrons from your device. All these things are just chock full of electrons. And conductors like metals let those electrons move around. Let's see what happens when we connect something to the battery. We'll keep things simple and just connect a copper wire. That wire, like your phone, is already full of electrons. We just need to make them move, and that's what the battery is for. The moment you connect the wire, the positive end gobbles up electrons. The reaction creates hydroxide ions that drift into the separating layer. That layer absorbs them and pops off more on the opposite side, which starts a reaction on the negative end of the battery. This new reaction releases electrons into the other end of the wire. Now that the chemistry is in full swing, the battery has an energy difference between the two ends, and it will keep things moving until you disconnect it or it dies. The weird thing about that? Electrons never flow through the battery on their own. So how does the battery die? Doesn't it run out of charge? No, it runs out of reactants. On the positive end, manganese dioxide is slowly turned into manganese 3 oxide. I hate nomenclature. On the negative side, zinc is slowly turned into zinc oxide. Mu oxidation! Once it runs too low on one of those, it's dead. No coming back. But the battery in my phone isn't that kind of battery. It's rechargeable. The battery in your phone is re-energizable, so it's just made of different things. Why don't we take a closer look at one of those? The positive end is lithium cobalt oxide. The negative end is graphite. And again, they're separated by a thin insulator. At the moment, the battery can't provide any energy. It's dead. When you connect your charger, energy comes from the wall socket. And the positive end of the battery releases lithium ions and electrons. The electrons go into the charger and get lost in the abyss of the wires. The lithium ions drift across the battery to the negative end, where they attach to the graphite. The battery is full when you've moved all the lithium you can. As the phone uses the battery's energy, the whole thing happens in reverse, until you've moved all the lithium back to the positive end. The point is, batteries always have the same amount of charge. They just don't always have the same amount of energy. Re-energize! So what's the worst place you've ever been when your battery died? Please share in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.